Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we have a Vivek who has over 5 years of experience working for um, 1MG and Flipkart, one of the um, top Indian based startups. So I would love to know more about the Vivek experiences and I hope all of my audience will also be interested in knowing the front end experience in the Indian based startups, also how they got uh, the job. Um, so let's get started with Vivek introduction. So yeah. welcome Vivek, uh, could you please give your uh, brief introduction? Uh, thanks Vishal, thanks for having me in this podcast. Uh, so uh, talking about myself, uh, so I started my journey uh, uh, after applying on angelist.jobs uh, as you have heard about that uh, uh, platform. So yeah. I applied there and I got a call from Tata 1MG. So talking about the interview process, uh, it was a uh, very streamlined, uh, very uh, they gave me a home assignment that that was the starting of the interview process so it basically consists of a, a simple uh, i need to create a one widget uh, by using angular or react it, it was uh, uh, open ended uh, from their side so mm -hmm. i completed there and i need to submit on their uh, github profile so i need to create a kind of a, i need to deploy it on netify or uh, Vercel, wherever it is needed but it should be working that is the most important part go ahead but, Basically, it was simple uh, sign up form, but it has some validation kind of thing that was, and it should be responsive. That was the first home assignment kind of thing I got. got and it. it was reviewed by uh, HR, and I got a green tick there. They called me for a second round of on site interview in uh, headquarters in Gurgaon itself. And uh, there was second, uh, what I can say, uh, that was uh, first round was, uh, sorry, second round uh, related was the technical HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript uh, coding was there. And one of the uh, basic uh, algo related question was also there, but uh, it, it was merely related to an array only, no, not no trees or not nothing else than that. Good. And second uh, uh, on-site interview was regarding the React, uh, React uh, or the vertical framework itself. I chose React there uh because i, I created my some of the pr previous projects and uh, so that was the, an advantage if you have created those projects like mm -hmm. you can you you should sell them to uh, at least uh, even if they are hiding for different kind of uh, svelte or uh, like uh, and, and uh, look, right yeah. it, it does not please, please just showcase what we have created over the year what we have learned there because that will be the nice because by which they will get to know your coding skills whether are you using classes based or not that is the second round and third round was related to engineering manager itself so that stress uh, all the three rounds in one day itself uh, and it was pre uh, covid itself so i got an offer letter uh, like around uh, at the end of the day and it was yes from the engineering manager and i was uh, Happy at that time because I got a first job at that time, so that was one thing. So I stayed there for uh, 3.5 years. Uh, I learned a lot about the HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, React, mentoring kind of thing, uh, everything related to that software engineering kind of thing. Thanks, Vivek, for giving your experience uh, at 1MG, and I'm glad that you find the job from the Angelist. I have also shared one video where I talk about how you can get a startup a job from Angelist. Now it is also known as a well found. And as you mentioned, the interview process of 1MG is first is the uh, first you got the home take assignment, which is uh, particularly you find in all other startup as well. Second, you got uh, the machine coding round. You can uh, solve all like uh, machine coding problems. I have also created a playlist for that. You can refer that. Uh, what types of machine coding question you can uh, get in the interviews and third you can ask manager round where they can discuss about your project what are the challenges you faced so you should practice that also so um, thanks Vivek uh, could you please just tell me about your experiences at Flipkart and what was the interview process at Flipkart okay so uh, I recently joined Flipkart it's around like 1.5 years and uh, talking about the interview process, so uh, it was very much different from the startups. So if I uh, if I remember, uh, so there was mostly uh, four rounds. So I'll just say five rounds because uh, like I, I always emphasize on one thing that is resume shortlisting, right? Yeah. I reached out to many of the fellows of uh, who are working at Flipkart. That is the most important thing. I uh, try to uh, message many of the folks who are working at Flipkart. 
so i found one reference so that was a, a great luck out there so it always depends how and well defined you are asking for reference that's this should be a very much clean objective uh, so that is my first advice uh, you you should not say hi hello uh, because there will be very much less time for the other folks to see the linkedin itself out yeah. of the one pixel so uh, do not waste that time please send your message uh, directly directly right yeah. so use use some kind of template out there uh, mention your portfolio uh, portfolio is very much necessary get a projects um, the project should be live it's not dead that is the second uh, thing a resume should be uh, very much uh, should not add some kind of images or like photos kind of thing generally it's, it should be standard and one page resume is sufficient for that yeah so that is uh, my first advice reach out to the people and uh, create your projects in whatever language or whatever framework you are comfortable with so and ask them for reference that is the first and uh, most important thing to get yourself shortlisted for the interview process that was first step okay. so uh, so i got a, a referral from one of the fellows working out on flipkart second uh, the first round was uh, online itself i joined at uh, at around in covid itself so that was uh, online itself the first one uh, was uh, for the ui tech round basically in that round they were asking about uh, html5 questions css3 questions and javascript core question like closures this concepts even bubbling and uh, capturing all those kind of basic questions were asked and similarly uh, they they can also give you some kind of basic uh, algorithmic related questions of mostly uh, based on arrays kind of thing uh, that was the, uh, around like 45 minutes of an interview process and did algorithmic questions will be solved in any language or in javascript only no so they uh, so the main the main uh, part of the you need to solve that in javascript because yeah you are working as a front end engineer you are applying for senior i applied for the senior role there hmm. so being a senior and you're not uh, able to uh, solve that algorithmic basic algorithmic question in javascript right so that is much more important questions on your uh, knowledge because uh, it will uh, help you to uh, move to the next round please do prefer uh, using javascript only that Good is uh, advice second round was related to the machine coding round questions these days um, so i got i i can remember like uh, i got a web chat ui just like whatsapp web there was a list and there was a search bar on the top and when you were clicking on one of the uh, the new pixel so the the new chat will open yeah so all those uh, back end apis were given and i was given like uh, 1.5 hours to complete that mm-hmm. and after that if you are able to complete that thing uh, they will ask you the question why are you using this Uh, uh classes why are you using that kind of structure uh, why you have followed this kind of particular thing all related to html5 and css3 so you so, should know why of uh, you should yeah. know answer of all why why you are yes. doing this why you are using uh, this code, take- why are you using that framework and yeah. yeah so they will definitely ask uh, questions between when you are typing your code or they can also advise uh, sometimes in, or they can give you hints so please do so one of the most important question Uh, people ask what should i do in machine coding round so ask as many as question as you want right so i was able to solve only the half of the questions still i was uh, like like managed to uh, clear that round why because uh, there was uh, when i was creating the uh, sidebar right so i need to create a search bar and in that search bar i need to handle uh, like the like you can you they will ask you uh, why you should why are you using throttling why Why not the debouncing or debouncing? Why not the throttling at that time? So basic concepts will ask, they will also ask. So they will test like different different kind of concepts when you are typing uh, your code itself. So that is yeah. much more necessary. How neatly code you are doing, uh, and how you are structuring your code in different different files. That is the second most important thing, right? Uh, you your task should not be to able to solve the full question itself. Right? You just need to uh, solve and understand as many as question. and please try to understand what kind of hint the interview is trying to give yeah so that is the uh, second round after ui tech and machine coding round and these days there is a, a new concept um, so uh, you were talking about the algorithm questions right yeah there is in every mnc right 
I don't know about the uh, startup, uh, like I, um, mostly they do not take uh, algo, algo rounds, but in MNC, there will be definitely an uh, algo round. So uh, I'll, I'll suggest to practice on lead code as simple as that. Like what kind of question? Just go from the easy to medium question that is sufficient for the front end. Don't go for the hard question, then that they will not ask that much kind of hard questions. Mm-hmm. I can uh, I can remember uh, I got a tree related question. There were basically two tree related questions were there. Uh, so so one question was related to tree and one question was it was majorly a common question that is you need to find the longest chain in the tree uh, in the tree itself where the sum is maximum itself. I see. So that is the basic question uh, they are expecting you to solve in algorithmic rounds. So, uh, so if you are preparing for MNCs, so try to grind over like you can just start with uh, like grind seventy five kind of uh, questions. That is a much more sufficient kind of thing. So do not uh, scare about the, like DSN algo. Just try to solve all those questions. You mm-hmm. can clear all that. Do not ask anyone uh, whether they will ask or not. Just prepare yourself already. If, if there is a already if there is going to be round, that's good. If it's not, that that is also good, right? You have already prepared for that. And uh, could you please suggest some of the uh, most important topic of um, algorithm route like array, string, object, map, that and other okay. topic? Okay, so basically in front end engineering itself, uh, one of the question, one of the most common questions will be asked from the arrays itself. Hmm. Uh, arrays and strings are the most famous one. And second will be related to the tree, while tree because DOM manipulations, DOM is created basically on the tree itself no, and yeah. similarly on the seesaw. So they are, they want you to uh, have a better understanding about the trees questions, hmm. right? And on the graphs. So you just need to solve uh, strings, arrays, trees, linked list may or may not uh, uh, be asked, but queues and stacks can also be asked. They, uh, they will, de- there will be one question, at least one round of question from the stacks or we use or one from the graph or trees. So trees question will be definitely this. I, I can't say about the second question, whether mm-hmm. it will be from the arrays or whether it will be from the strings or like, uh, I haven't seen many candidates getting DB related questions, right? So you can avoid or you can just solve like uh, five to 10, at least five to 10 questions of DP. That is much more sufficient, uh, but I'll suggest to, Go through the trees related questions. Uh, that is important thing. So let's summarize your experiences. So what you have to do is, first of all, you have to create a resume that should be a single page, um, well formatted resume. Second, you should have a portfolio which include all your pro- projects of any front end language or any fr- framework you can use, but it should contain good projects. Then you should ask for a referral and. For referral, I have also shared how to ask for a referral or how to do a cold DM. So you can check out that video also. And then you have to prepare for the machine coding round and algorithmic round. For algorithmic round, trees and the arrays are the one of the most uh, asked questions. So make sure you prepare for that also. Thanks Vivek for uh, sharing your experience at uh, Flipkart. I would love to know more about what types of projects Preset should make uh, to learn and uh, to uh, ex- uh, impress the recruiter. So basically, uh, if you're creating a new project, you should uh, start searching for a real kind of problem, not go for the to-do kind of stuff. Right? Got it. If you're creating some kind of blog, so write something real life and start uh, working on the marketing kind of thing and try to drive some kind of users and ask them for their feedback, what kind of new feature they want in yeah your website itself right so that's the that most is, important thing that's the most important thing right? yeah so that's kind of uh like projects you, you should search for and, and just display all those uh projects in your resume that's it you need not to create some kind of a, a to go for like seven to eight projects you just have to stick with one or two projects that's sufficient for you got it so i also have a two project one is the awesome javascript website which currently have more than like uh, 1600 stars on the github and the users are like five to six thousand users uh, are the monthly user who come and learn about the javascript from there and i also currently launch my front end freak uh, website which is a front end project and i also like there are also like more than like three thousand to five hundred visitors per week so there are 
so you have to create the project which can create the impact either you can earn or you can get the paid user or they can also like use your product for a free but there should be some users there should be someone who gets some benefits from your project so if you are able to impact others life through your project that's what like uh, as a software developer as a front end engineer you should do so yeah highly impactful projects are the best project uh, so the last person that i want to ask me is uh, if i am the candidate who wants to apply for the flip card as a front end developer role or the ui developer role so what are the skills that you are looking in the candidate okay so when we start the interview uh, question like interview part itself so uh, first part is to calm down the uh, like candidate itself right uh, so ask about like uh, what's uh, like what is your, what's their workplace like what are they doing and how is their city just come down in like two, three to five minutes then we put up the our question itself uh, mm -hmm. basically and we expect the candidate to ask as many as questions and over the interview not uh, it's not like uh, you can uh, only ask questions uh, in the starting of the interview you can always ask question in between whenever you the candidate is needed right we are there to help you right we are not uh, there to reject you we are always welcoming the question right we because in that way we will help guide the students to correct path only right Good. so uh, in front end related uh, interviews uh, we are expecting the candidates to learn about the core html uh, five parts like what are the semantic tags right what is accessibility sure. right uh, like what are the new html five tags out there like header aside and these mm -hmm. kind of questions right? semantic tag Yes, semantic test related question. Why is it necessary? What is SEO related to? So uh, everything related to HTML5. Then we can jump to uh, CSS3. Uh, we can ask some kind of a box model kind of questions. The mm. general, right? So that kind of question can be asked. But in JavaScript, we mainly focus on JavaScript kind of part, right? Uh, we can start with the very basic and core question about the hosting, closures, this concepts, ES6 modules related questions, right? And array related questions can also be map, filter, and reduce. We can also ask about the polyfills of all these, uh, like apply and bind. I can, we can also ask about those kind of concepts. So basically, uh, I will have, have at least 10 points. And if you are able to solve like 60 or 70% of the question, uh, so it, it is a green light for me. So that, that is the kind of thing we follow uh, in startup or MNCs. Uh, thank you, Vivek, uh, for joining us and sharing your insight and experiences with our audience. I hope all, all of my audience uh, enjoy this uh, lovely podcast with you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for listening to me. I hope you learned something uh, new today. Um, you can reach out uh, to Vishal for some of the great information out there. Uh, so thanks. Thanks a lot, everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, this session. If you want to watch more the session, just make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.